everyone, this is Heather. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I've got a card tutorial for you. I'm going to be making this fun walrus card using some new products from the brand new Stampin' Up! catalog it launched this week. So I wanted to have kind of an ombre effect of some pretty blue waves coming down. And then when you open it up on the inside, you can see the cute little walrus floating on the inside. Uh, please excuse this little area here. I originally stamped my sentiment on the inside, thought it looked better on the outside. My card was all finished, so I just covered it up. So I'm using the Will Walrus Be Friends set, and I have to say this is probably one of my favorite sets in the new catalog. I love sea critters, and this walrus is just so cute. So it's got him in different positions on an iceberg with a little seagull on his head floating. It's really cute. Got a couple cute fish and some really fun phrases. So for my card, my card base is Pool Party. It's just an eight and a half by 11 sheet cut, scored and folded in half. Then I also have some cardstock. It's Coastal Cabana and Balmy Blue, and these are each cut to four and a fourth wide, and I'll get to the heights in a little bit when we die cut. I also have some white Bristol Smooth cardstock that's five and a fourth by four. I'm gonna be doing some ink blending, so I really like using that. And then just in that another little extra piece of the Bristol Smooth for some fish. So the first thing I wanna do is figure out about where I would like my little walrus to be. So I'm gonna take my ruler and my pencil, and I'm gonna measure down about an inch and just make a little tick mark. Using Black Stays on ink, I'm going to ink up my walrus and I'm just gonna put the top of the stamp where I made that little tick mark. I wanna add a little bit of color around him so it looks like he's floating in the water. So I'm using Pool Party ink from Stampin' Up! And I've got a blender brush and I've grabbed a scratch piece of paper. And I'm just gonna lightly, starting off the edge of my cardstock, move in with a light swirling motion and just add that pretty blue color. And I want it to be a little bit lighter going down and a little bit darker at the top. With my ink blending finished, I'm going to add a couple little fish. I wanted this little guy to look like he was kind of jumping up out of the water. And this little guy is kind of swimming below. And then on my extra piece, I'm gonna also stamp one each of the little fish. One of the new colors in the new Stampin' Up! catalog is Seaside Spray. It's this really pretty blue color, and I thought it would be perfect for coloring in the walrus. So I'm going to be using the Light and Dark Stampin' Blends markers, and I'm gonna color in my entire walrus with the light Seaside Spray, avoiding his eyes and his tusks. So with the lighter color laid down, I'm now gonna go in with the darker and add some shading and shadow. I'm kind of pretending that my light is coming from the upper right-hand corner. So I want it to be a little bit darker on the left-hand side. So just go in and add that shading and shadowing and kind of follow some of the stamped lines. With that darker color laid down, I'm gonna go over top with the lighter again and just kind of blend those two together. And then sometimes I like to go back in with the darker and just add a little bit more in just a few areas where I feel like I want it to be just a little bit more shadowed. So lastly on the walrus, I'm gonna take some ivory and color in his tusks. And I think that this seaside spray is just the absolute perfect color for this cute walrus. Next, I'm gonna be using light and dark daffodil to light for my little fishes. I'm gonna color them in completely with the light yellow and then go in and add a little bit of shadow with the dark. And I'm gonna color in all four fish the same way. 
Here's my inside panel and I'm all finished and there's not a die cut set with this stamp set so I'm just going to use my scissors and just cut my little goldfish out. One last touch that I wanted to add to the inside of my card was just a couple little lines to make it look like that one fish was jumping out of the water. So now I'm ready to move on to the scalloped ombre on the front of my card. I'm going to open up my card base, lay it down flat on my work surface. There's a little bit of math and measuring for, that's involved, but I'll uh, let you know all the steps that I'm doing. First thing I'm going to do is take my ruler. I'm going to line it up against the fold of my card and across the top, and I'm going to measure down one and three fourths inches. I'm just going to make a little tick mark there move over to the other side and again at one and three fourths inches make another little tick mark I'm going to take my scallop and I am using the stitched scallop kind of border die and this is from the stitched be mine set from Stampin' Up! It is still available in the annual catalog. I'm going to line up those scallops with my little tick marks. I'm going to tape that is in place, making sure that the edge of the die is kind of lined up right there on my crease. And I'm going to run this through my die cut machine. So I'm going to carefully remove the die and I have this flap on the front of my card. I'm just going to take my scissors and go right along the fold of that card base and just cut that away. So now I have that fun scalloped edge and if you need to you can take your eraser and erase your pencil marks away. Now on the balmy blue paper which has been cut to four and a fourth I'm going to measure down two and a half inches, make a little tick mark, do the same on the other side, and turn my card stock around, and again I'm going to have the top of that scallop go across those little tick marks, tape it in place, and run it through my die cut machine. I'm removing this, I'm bringing over my piece of Coastal Cabana. I'm going to do the same thing, except this time I'm going to measure down one and a fourth, turn it around, line it up, and die cut again. So with my pieces all die cut, I'm ready to layer them together. I'm just going to add some tape runner, and I'm going to line that up on the bottom and sides of my card. This is my medium blue and then on the shorter darker blue I'm going to do the same thing just line that up across the bottom you know have that really pretty ombre effect I'm going to take my sentiment and I'm going to stamp it in the lower right hand corner on the back of my little fish I have applied a little glue dot and I'm just going to kind of slip them up under those scallops so it kind of looks like they're coming up out of the waves. I'm going to open up my card and apply some tape runner to the back of my panel and adhere that inside my card. And with that on the inside, here's our finished card. I thought this was just a really fun way to kind of have the little walrus peeking up over the waves with the pretty blue paper. You can open up and have a little scene and still have some room down here to write your greeting on the inside. I absolutely love this set. The new Stampin' Up! catalog is available now. I will link to them in the description box down below. And I really hope that you enjoyed this card tutorial. Please check out my channel for lots of other card tutorials and product reviews. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And be sure to check out my channel and think about subscribing. I hope you have a really wonderful day. This is Heather. Bye!